minor league baseball now on the show as our road trip makes a stop in the double-a Texas League tonight an intriguing matchup between the Texas League's North Division and the Texas League's South Division it's baseball on the show and it's coming up next number 21 gets the ball for the away side in this one what's your take on him Dan well, this guy's kind of unique. How about a five-pitch repertoire that he has that gives him a lot of options for both righties and lefties, and if he's on, he could be really tough to hit. Digging in now, Michael Gigliotti, and we are set for baseball here this evening. And that misses two and one. Temperature reading an even 80 degrees at first pitch tonight. In there, and it's even now, two and two. Two pitch mix here. If you're in the batter's box, you're looking for something up. Sinker change up right here. Got to get it up. Slider, and that's hit on the ground towards second. Fielded cleanly, and he will whip this one over to first in time for the out. So coming to the plate, Drew Avens. He'll get to take his first cuts here. A 3 2 pitch. High in the air and drifting out to shallow center. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. The second baseman, Michael Bush. Now in the box, Michael Bush, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Bases are empty here with two men out. Pitch is popped up. And that'll get down for a base hit. Hey, there's a nice knock by the three-hole hitter. I know there's two outs, but they always say with your man coming up, the number four hole monster, as soon as he steps in the batter's box, there's a runner in scoring position. Standing in now, Mitch Nain. Not trying to pick up that outside corner, but this misses, and it's back to even at two balls and two strikes. Off the outside that time as the breaking ball can't catch the zone. Good running count right here. Three balls, two strikes, two outs, run, run first. He'll be off to the races on this pitch. A bouncer up the middle. Reined in. And the off-balance throw is right there for the third out. And a high degree of difficulty on that one as the side is retired. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and a man left. So it's on to the bottom of inning number one, no score. Michael Baird, the native of Colorado, gets the start on the mound. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? This guy has a three-pitch mix, and he needs all three of his pitches. If he has them all working and uses them properly, he has a chance to be very effective. At the plate, Steve Aparicio. He'll leave things off here in the bottom half of the first. Now the 2-1 pitch. Takes a pitch for strike number two. Two two swing and a miss got him reaching the throw to first is in time one down stepping in Yoni Hernandez as the switch hitter will take his cuts left handed here bases are empty one man out three and two full count.
Now the payoff pitch home. And he popped him up. Bush ranging into the outfield. He can't get to it. This one's down. Hey, the leadoff man wasn't able to do his job, but the number two hitter good. came through right there the with the single, game. setting the table for the big boys. Throw over to the bag, and late reactions, and they got him. Well, that's not a good look. No one likes getting picked off, but it's especially bad when it's your team's first hit. It's kind of deflating. Into the box, George Merritt. Just missed with the 2-2 two -two count, and it runs full now. Kyle Overstreet would be next. The 3 2 pitch. And a good pitch there as this ball swung on and popped straight up the chute right around home plate. And he will indeed make the play in foul territory to retire the side. We've played an inning, still nothing, nothing. Second inning set to go, and striding forward the designated hitter, Connor Capel. And that misses for ball four. So it's a leadoff walk here to start the second. Man, that's just painful for a pitcher right there. A 3-2 offering that was right on the corner, but he couldn't get him to chase, and he doesn't get the call. Can't beat yourself up about that one too much. Into the box now, Kramer Robertson. Three-two pitch to first he's got it to second for one return throw gets him at first it's a three six one double play that's good athleticism here by the pitcher getting off the mound he gets the ball to first and then hustles his way over to the bag to help him wrap up the tough three six one double play So base is empty now after the double play. And standing in the outfielder, Connor Lean. The 1-1 home. Taken, strike two. Might have been taking all the way right there. That pitch couldn't have split the strike zone any better. And you can bet he wants that one back at the plate. Waved at and missed for the third out. Not much of a chance at hitting that one, and the inning is over. half of the second set to go and here comes the first baseman Kyle Overstreet the one two this is hit high in the air out toward left center long run for the center fielder he makes the catch a great effort to get there and record the first out of the inning Batting fifth, the catcher, Luis Camposano. Now with the plate, Luis Camposano. Right side. And that'll find its way into right field for a one-out single. That's the difference in today's games. Pitchers will throw any pitch in any count, but the batter was able to deliver on a 3-2 breaking Stepping in now, a Swan Vieira down the first baseline. And this is going to get past him at first. That's a fair ball. Not 
So now to the plate, Rudy Harone. And the slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Oh, wow. He really yanked that slider across his body. And he almost threw it to the backstop. Nice job by his battery mate to corral that one. Now the 2-1. Ground ball sent back up the middle. And that'll get through into center field for a base hit. Oh, but it's offline, so the run will score. And he'll reach second now with one away. Hey, this one's a long way from being over, d -roll, but that big no base hit right there gives him a two-run lead. Oh, yeah, Dan, without question right there. Huge at bat. Gives his team the lead. Hopefully the pitcher's able to settle down now. He's got some runs on his back, and he's able to go out and execute. On a good pitch there. Had him stretching to get out there, and it's two and two now. Softly hit toward the hole. Only play will be to the pitcher covering, and the runner will advance to third now. Ready now, Carmen Benedetti, runner in scoring position with Sugan. It back up the middle. He gets dirty, but he can't get there, and it's into center field. And that'll bring home run number three. It's now a three-nothing cushion. Now that he took that back right where it came from. Nice ribby knock right up the shoot. Yeah, a little bit frustrating as a pitcher. You know, you always hear that hey, you want to make yourself one of the defenders, but that ball was hit just out of his reach, right up the middle, base hit, and another run batted in. At the plate now, Steve Aparicio. And he lays off the pitch down and away. Ball two. And it's fouled away. Three runs already home here. This one's down to third. Fielded cleanly, and he'll go the short way to retire the side. So three runs on four hits, no errors, and a man left on. We'll go now to the top of the third. The South Division stars from the Texas League are on top, three to nothing. Brian Howard is ready, and he'll take the ball from the manager. Now for the Southern Division, number 76, Brian. Power. Leading off the inning, Brian O'Keefe, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. Hey. Strike two called, and it's full three and two. That's the exact spot to lean on as a reliever. As a hitter, you just have to tip your cap and look for the next one. Sent on the ground out to second. Reined in. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. Batting nine, the first baseman, Seth Kirtley. At the plate, Zach Kirtley. Now the 2 1 pitch. Fouled away. Looked like he was cheating a heater right there. A little bit too far out in front. Got to find a way to keep his hands back. And another foul ball. Set to deal on two and two. You can certainly tell at bats like this one frustrate the heck out of a pitcher but you got to find a way to stay composed and execute your plan lifted in the air to center 
Vieira is there two gone. Now batting the center fielder Michael Gigliotti. Striding in once again Michael Gigliotti second appearance here he grounded out to start the ball game. A one and one count here's the pitch. Here's a swing and a high pop up Camposano is calling for it and the inning is over. So they're held in check here this half of the inning. We'll head now to the home half of inning number three. The South Division stars from the Texas League lead it three to nothing. Brady Singer is on and he'll take now over on the mound in relief. Number 51. Brady Singer. Bottom of the third now, and standing in is the switch hitting second baseman, Yoni Hernandez. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. Three and one to him now. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. 3 1 pitch is a slider, and he can't pull the trigger. It's three and two now. Payoff pitch home. Swing and he pops him up. Nay, in foul ground, but this will land untouched. Not surprised he's laid on a heater right there. Just saw an off speed pitch. Wanted to stay back a little bit too long. Now that's popped up. And he'll stay with it here as he puts the squeeze on it for route number one. The batter, the third baseman. Merritt. Stepping into the box, George Merritt. This is line to left, but pretty much right at the left fielder as he takes it in for the second out. Now batting the first baseman. Kyle Next will be the cleanup hitter, Kyle Overstreet. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Two out, nobody on. Lifted in the air out to right. Right fielder giving chase. He can't get there, so the inning will continue. And he will pull into second with a two out double. Check that out right there. I love me some of that. Staying inside the baseball, moving it the other way. Sometimes a pitcher can execute his pitch. It doesn't mean the batter can't grab a knock. To the plate now, Luis Camposano heading out towards shallow right. And he dives to make a spectacular catch. What a play there to end the inning. Worth a second look here as this is a beauty to end the inning. Back with more of our All-Star Game coverage in a moment. Mitchell Jordan, a six-foot-one-inch right-hander, will be the one to get the call from the bullpen here. Number 36, Mitchell Jordan. Ready for another chance? Drew Avens. He flew out in his last at bat. The 2 2. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Going back is the right fielder. Gone to lead off the inning. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. As they get one back, it's three to one now. This is the first home run of the game, but the bats are definitely alive for both teams tonight. There have been a ton of hits already. These pitchers might want to duck and cover if things continue this way. 
In now, Michael Bush. To right field and absolutely hammered. Forget about making a play on that ball. It's way out of here. Back to back home runs. A solo shot here to straightaway right field as it's now a 3 2 ball game. Another excellent swing right there. That's multiple home runs in the same inning. Watch yourself. You're missing over the heart of the plate. Standing in now, Mitch Nay. Looked like the fastball got away from him there. It's ball two. A little early, and now it's even at two and two. Now the pitch. Strike three on a pitch in the dirt. A throw down to first, one away. To the plate now is the designated hitter, Connor Capel. He drew a walk his first time up. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. And he fouls this one off. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. Turned on that one and crushed it, just pulled it a little foul. Still only one out in the inning. Hit in the air out to straightaway left field. Left fielder giving chase. He makes the play. Really had to hustle to get to that one. Two gone now. Now batter. Not shortstop. Kramer. Robertson. Digging in. Kramer Robertson. There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. Swing and a blooper to the right side. Here comes the right fielder, but he can't make the play as it finds the outfield grass. The right fielder, number five, Carter. Into the box now. Connor Lean got him swinging, and that will end the inning. So it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and a runner left on. On now to the bottom half of inning number four. The South Division stars from the Texas League are on top, three to two. Jackson Kowar takes the mound as he's been called upon to pitch. For the Northern Division, number 37, Jackson Kowar. Trying to pick things up where he left off, a Swan Vieira. He scored a run after stroking a double in his first at bat. And he's got to build off that last AB. He battled. Usually when you battle, you get in that swing mode. A lot of pitches, you'll swing at the rosin bag. I love the fact that he was able to work a double in last at bat. Let's see if we get more of the same right here. Hey, after the double in his first at bat, looks like he's trying to pitch around this guy a little bit. The 2-1 home. Three balls, one strike. And that misses for ball four. It's a leadoff walk that starts at the bottom of the fourth. Well, he's a youngster. You can see he's a little nervous out there. Some people call it butterflies, but to him it probably feels like pterodactyls are flying around in his gut. Going to be interesting to see if he can settle down here. So digging in now, Rudy Heron coming off the clutch two-run single his last time up. Here now the 2-2 is laid off and the count runs full. 
That was another good pitch and a tough call that could have gone either way. He couldn't get him to bite on it again, so the count's gone from 0-2 to 3-2. to Vieira on at first, nobody out. Soft liner towards short. Well, this is pulled in by the shortstop. Now back, left fielder, Lothero. Arvid Harrow. Striding in, Lazaro Armenteros. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Yeah, Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result. That's his last at bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything on the ground, the way this defense is, they could certainly roll to. Down the left field line and deep. And this will wind up a foul ball. This is foul tipped right into the catcher's glove as he holds on to preserve the strikeout, and there are two away. That swing tells me he was really trying to get a pitch out front and rip it down the line, but that wasn't a great pitch to do it on. It's really not the best two-strike approach either. At the plate, Carmen Benedetti. At the ball. And a good take there. Close, but it's two and two. Now here's a drive out to right center field. Vieira is on his way home. Safe at the plate. And they now lead by two. So much of this game is situational hitting, guys. Nice job there. Yeah, you've got to find a way to pick your teammates up when you're given the chance. And he doesn't try to do too much right here. He just takes what's there. Safely on second, and his buddy is high-fiving teammates in the dugout. So now to the plate, Steve Aparicio. And this one's low here, so the count swells to three and one. Two out here and a runner at second. And a called strike on the outside corner there. It's full now, three and two. You know he wants to end this inning right here on three and two, but I don't think we'll see him lay one in on the next pitch there with a base open to work with. Ready with the payoff pitch. And that misses ball four. So it's first and second now with two out. Right about now, the manager's questioning his decision to bring this guy in. If you can't trust a reliever to throw strikes, you can't trust him at all. We'll see if he comes to get him sooner than later. Digging in the switch hitter, Yoni Hernandez. One for two with a base hit back in the first inning of play. Payoff pitch home to short. He's got it. Throw to first in time, and the big inning is avoided as the side is retired. But a run will score in the inning on this RBI double. We played four. It's now four to two. Matt Milburn, a right-handed reliever standing 6-3, gets the ball now out of the bullpen. Matt Milburn. New inning set to get underway, and next to hit is the catcher, Brian O'Keefe. Line hard toward right center. And that's a base hit. One for two in his first couple of plate appearances. I mean, that fires me up right there. Opposite field knock. And in today's game, where every manager is employing hundreds of shifts to watch this batter go the other way was special.
stepping in now. Zach Kirtley. He's fallen behind now. Three and one. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right-handers starting to loosen up. 4-2 our score here as we play inning number five. Now a chopper to second. This will be a tough turn. Fielded cleanly. And the throw to first is in time. One gone. Now back, center fielder, Marco Giggly Hardy. So the batting order turns over now and set to go Michael Gigliotti. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. One out and a runner on second base. Hit on the ground out to short. And that's through. A base hit. The throw to the plate. Top of the throw will be well up the line as he scores easily. What a nice piece of hitting right there. Didn't try and do too much. Stayed on the attack, kept his hands inside the ball, and took what the pitcher gave. Now a throw over, and the runner will get back standing. And now, Drew Avens. Runners on the move for second. That's a strike to throw down. And it skips in as he steals the bag easily. That's pretty savvy base running, right? A lot of pitches don't throw over twice in a row, so I think he was going on first movement, and it worked out nicely. The one-two. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. From the belt, the pitch to two balls and two strikes now. Now a look and a throw back to second. And a dive, but he's back. Runner at second here with one man out. That's taken high for a ball. It's full now. Three and two. Not a time to fool around right now on a three-two count with the middle part of the order coming up. Expect a good pitch to swing at. Now the payoff pitch home. Gets him looking up around the letters. Flat out locked him up with the changeup right there. Usually you're trying for a swing and miss when you throw that pitch in a two-strike count, but clearly he wasn't looking for it. So it's a backwards K for him. At the plate now, Michael Bush. A ball and two strikes now. He's looking pretty passive here, hitting with a chance to drive it a run. Going to have to make something happen with two strikes now. And he lays off it to even the count two and two. That's a good but risky take there on 0 and 2. Some umpires have no problem ringing you up on a pitch that close. And an off-speed pitch swung on and missed. And with that, the side is retired. So a run on two hits, no errors, and a man left. Last half of the fifth coming up. The South Division stars from the Texas League lead it 4-3. to three. Angel Rondon, a 6-foot, 2-inch right-hander, jogs in to take over on the mound. Number 89, Angel Rondon. Set now for the bottom of the fifth, and set to go as the third baseman, George Merritt. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind three and one. And just when you needed a shutdown inning, a leadoff walk was certainly not on the agenda. He needs a bear down right here. And he likely had ball four that time, but couldn't hold back on the swing, so that moves the count to three and two now. Ground ball right side. 
And that's out number one. The first baseman, number three, Kyle Overstreet. So now it'll be the four hole hitter, Kyle Overstreet. He's working on a one for two game so far. We're in the fifth inning of a four to three ball game here. The one two offering looked like a slider that time, but it's two and two. Swing and a miss as he ran that two seamer right by him for the second out. Anytime a pitcher locates a fastball on the inside corner, it's going to be a tough pitch to hit. That one was spot on, and he had no answer for it. To the plate now, Luis Camposano. A swing and a ground ball to third. And the inning will continue as that's through for a two out hit. Sometimes you need a little luck. Sometimes you need to get a ground that's ball with eyes. And that's exactly what happened right there. Standing in now, a Swan Vieira. A little low, it's two and two. Two out with the man at first. Still hanging with him, another good swing to keep it going. Another 2 2 offering. Hit out towards second. And that is through into center field, a base hit. Hey, after back-to-back two-out hits right now, now, this pitcher thought he was going to cruise through this inning, and now he's got traffic, and he's in jeopardy with a ball in the gap or a ball missed over the heart of the plate, a crooked number going on the board. Into the box, Rudy Heron. He got him. Lively fastball that time, and it puts an end to the inning. Lake Backer takes over to start the sixth inning on the mound. For the Southern Division, number 85, Lake Backer. Leading off the inning, Mitch Ney, and they'll need him to get something going here. Opposite field as he lines this down the line in right. And now it'll kick around in the corner. And he's going to get to second now with nobody out. As we take a look at the replay here, you can see that it was an angle changeup. Nice job of staying back on it, and he's able to tattoo it for a double. And you know, if that pitch would have supplied more velocity, it might have been out of here. He hit it right on the screws. Stepping in now, Connor Capel. A little too tall that time. Three and one now. Right-hander starts to loosen out in the bullpen now. The three-one. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Long run for the center fielder. The catch is made, and the tying run is going to tag from second. And he'll make it up to third safely here with one away. Now Robertson. Digging in once again, Kramer Robertson, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. A 1 1. That's a ball. Four, three, our score here as we play inning number six. Aye. And he fires a fastball now for a called strike two. One of the most frustrating things for me to watch in this game is guys getting count leverage and not pull the trigger on a fastball middle in. 
That's why you play, to get in those situations. And the curveball bounces here, but a good job behind the plate to keep it at arm's length. Now the three and two pitch. Count remains full. Another payoff pitch. Line to the right side. But good hands over there at first, and that becomes out number two. Now batting, right fielder, Connor Lee. Now with the play, Connor Lean. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. Two outs here with a runner at third. Two balls and a strike. A couple strikeouts early in the game, but he's done a much better job in this at bat trying to get ahead and put himself in a good hitter's count. Can't find the zone there as he lays off the breaking ball. That's a close pitch right there, but I think he's just nibbling a little bit too much. Out of the pen sometimes, you just have to come in and go right after guys. Ready with the 3-1. And it's up to a 3-2 full count now. I think it's safe to say he wasn't ready for the fastball. Wow, was he behind that fastball. Great job on the mound using the curveball to set up the heater. And they could go either way now, I suppose. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side. But this is back into the seats of foul ball. Trying to hold the lead. Here's the delivery. Ooh, he saws him off with that one. And the off-balance throw gets him as he takes away a hit, and the side is retired. Edwin Yusidan enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. Number 92, Edwin Yusidan. Digging in, Lazaro Armenteros. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Here's the 1 and 1 delivery. And he's a little too high with that one. Two balls and a strike. Action in the bullpen now as a right hander begins to throw out there. Into the windup, here's the two and one pitch. Hit in the air out to center field. Center fielder on the run. He makes the catch. A great effort to get there and record the first out of the inning. Now batting, the right fielder, Carmen Benadetti. Coming to the plate now, Carmen Benedetti. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. One out, nobody on. Hit hard to third. Oh, and he can't come up with it. In time to first, and there are two away. The bat, the designated hitter, Steve Aparicio. Coming to the plate now, Steve Aparicio. Tried to fool him with the changeup, but he won't offer at it. Three and two. Bases are empty here with two men out. He pulls this one into right. That gets down, and the inning continues. So on a full count pitch, he's able to get on base and keep the inning going. I know this guy isn't known for his hitting prowess, but that's a nice job right there. Getting a single on a 3-2 pitch in the middle of the zone, grab your glove and flash some leather. In now, Yoni Hernandez. This one's flared out toward left. In comes the left fielder. 
He's there to make the play, and that'll retire the side. So no runs on a hit here, no errors, one man left on. Seventh inning coming up. The South Division stars from the Texas League are on top, four to three. You're Ralph Garza is on to pitch from the Alvin bullpen Alvin now to start inning number seven. Number 72, Ralph Garza. Leading off the inning, Brian O'Keefe, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. This thing's far from over, even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. Great situation right here. Leading off the inning, you got to find a way to get on base any way possible. But I don't like to take the aggression away from hitters. If it's in your zone, I want you swinging. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. Now batting, the first baseman, Zach Gertley. So striding forward now, Zach Kirtley. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. We're in the seventh inning now of a 4 3 ball game. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind three and one. When you're playing close games like this, base runners mean everything, so he can ill afford to start giving away free passes. The three and one pitch. Now a swing, and he gets him to pop it up. Barone over to his left, two gone. Now back, center fielder, Michael Giggly Hottie. Dyron Blanco will pinch hit here, and he's the potential tying run. For the Northern Division, number 22, Dyron Blanco. One and two. Two out, nobody on. And a curveball swung on and missed, and a great call there as the Ladies inning is over. For the traditional Dyron Blanco is the new center fielder after coming on as a pinch hitter during the last half inning. John Fasola gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Andretti Cordero is up off the bench as he'll be asked to get something started in the home half of the seventh. swing and a miss and he's behind one and two there's ball two as the slider dips below the zone hey they tried to tie him up on that last pitch so I like that they went away with this one the execution didn't work but I like the idea behind it Two two is a changeup that misses three and two. And here's a slider strike three called, and that'll be the first out of the inning. That's what you call clipping the outside corner. Great movement on that slider, and it completely locked up the hitter. Didn't fool the umpire though. Chucky Robinson will move into the on-deck circle now to try to get something started here with one gone in the inning. Timing just to tick off there as this one's fouled off to the right. Here's the one and two. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. 
no problems for him on the mound since he's come out of the pen to start now this back. inning. Catcher. That's back-to-back -back Ks, Moe. and he's making it look pretty Stop easy. Him. This oh. has the makings of a good outing so far. Sam Huff will get the call to pinch hit here as we'll see what he can do with two out and the base is empty. Number 85. Ah, changed things up on him and he got him to swing through it. One and two now. This one's outside quite a bit off the plate that time. Here now the 2-2 two -two is at the knees and called strike three. Andretti Cordero is going to go ahead and stay in the ball game and play third now. Number four, Andretti Cordero. Chucky Robinson will stay in the ball game as he'll take over at first base. Robinson. Now catcher. Sam Huff will remain in the game in the eighth spot and take over at catcher. Number 85. Sam Huff. Demarcus Evans has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Jerry Gonzalez will pinch hit here, and he's the potential tying run. Swing and a miss, and it's a ball and two strikes here. That front door slider is a devastating pitch. By the time you realize it's in the zone, it's too late, and you can't even put a good swing on it. One and two, here it comes. Lifted the other way to left center. Left fielder is on the move. He's there and records the first down. Now back, second baseman. Time now for our starter comparison, and that tells the story, as you can see, Neither guy able to get past five innings. Proving Lopez will get a shot here as a pinch hitter. For the Northern Division, number three, Irving Lopez. Lifted the other way out to left center. And the pinch hitter will not be able to advance the cause, and there are two away now. Now that the third baseman, Jordan Cowan, will come on as a pinch hitter for the Northern Division, number 70, Jordan Cowan. 4-3 our score here as we play the eighth. That nibbled the corner there, but missed two and one. Fly ball out toward right field. Right fielder is on the run. He's there to make the play, and that'll retire the side. Jerry Gonzalez will stay in the ball game now and take over in left field. Irving Lopez stays in the ball game in the eighth spot and takes over at second base. Now at second number three, Irving Lopez. Jordan Cowan will stay in the game, taking over at third base and batting in that eighth spot. Tyler Zuber is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Tyler Huber.
Anthony Buck is going to grab a bat here as he looks to try to set the table in the bottom of the eighth as they look for some insurance. Oh, had him off stride that time, and it's one and two. Made him look silly with that one. Grounded to the right. And that'll be a base hit, so it's a pinch hit single here to get him started in the home half of inning number eight. Now I don't know what side of the fence I fall on, boys. Old school, new school. I think I kind of stand right along that fence. But one thing that gets me jacked up is watching guys grind down in the count and drive base hits the other way. Into the box now, Rudy Heron. There's a breaking ball that couldn't quite catch the inside. You see a right-handed batter waiting next, but he could very well be pulled back as the situation dictates. The 3 1. A swing and a miss, and that'll fill the count at 3 and 2. When I broke into the league, not many guys were throwing that elevated fastball with that much velocity on it. The game has changed. Drilled right back up the middle. And that's in for a base hit. He's two for four now. Nice execution right there, Dan. Kept his front shoulder in. No kept his hands field. inside the baseball and ripped the base hit up the middle. And if you're a pitcher right there, you can't get discouraged. Sometimes even when you make a good pitch, the ball's going to find a hole somewhere. That one right up the middle. Now batting, Lazaro Armenteros. Been a rough go of things at the plate for him so far, but his guys are looking for him to change that right here. Yeah, nothing better than coming through for the boys in a tight game, Matt, especially when you're kind of due to do something productive. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. And now a bunt attempt here as he gets this one down. Uh, he tries the bare hand but can't make the play. And now everybody's safe. First and second here with nobody out. This is on the ground over to first. There's one on to first to complete the double play. Well, there's the pitcher's best friend right there. The inning was off to a rough start, right? But nothing changes that like a good old two ball. We'll see if they can strand the runner at third now. At the plate, Carmen Benedetti. He's two for three and looking for more here. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. Frozen on strike three for the final out of the inning. Anthony Buck stays in the ball game batting number eight and takes over in center field. Anthony. Norhe Ruiz comes on from the pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. Stevie Berman is going to be asked to try and be the rally starter as he's up off the bench, ready to lead it off in the ninth. Line to the right side. And that'll be a base hit, so he delivers off the bench to get things started here in the ninth. The leadoff hitter finds his way on base. Should be interesting to see the cat and mouse with the manager. Does he use the bunt right here? Do we put a little hit and run on? Do we go old school, new school, and just let him swing away? Should be interesting. 
You're Kevin Merrill will come on to pinch hit now with a runner at first and nobody out. Number one, Kevin. Kevin Merrill. Check swing, no swing, says the home plate umpire. Ball two. All even now, two and two. Nobody out, runner on first. This is skied into short left center. In comes the left fielder. He's there and records the first down. The right fielder, number five, Carter Lean. Stepping up to the plate, Connor Lean. He'll be looking for something he could drive into the gap and drive home that tying run from first. One out, one on, in a one-run game. Quick check on that tying run at first. Runner back standing. The one-one home. Makes him swing and miss on a ball out of the zone for strike two. Good thing he didn't make contact with that pitch. Only thing he could do is probably get that on the ground. It could be a double play ball. The one two. Hit on the ground to third. To second for one. Back to first. A double play. And with that, the ball game is over. Man, they battled right to the end. Getting the tying run aboard in the ninth. But that's where the threat ended as they turned to double play to finish this one once and for all. And it's a 4-3 finish in this evening's ball game. The South Division All-Star took the lead in the second inning and rode that until the very end. Kyle Friedrichs gets the W on the mound. Michael Baird only completed two innings and is charged with the loss. So that will put a wrap on things here this evening. For my partners Dan Plezak and Mark DeRosa, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a special presentation of MLB The Show. For more, follow us on Twitter at MLB The Show. Please drive home safely.